Zen here with a tutorial on how to use and set up the Knox app player. Now, this is the first time I'm going to show you how to use the controls and how to set up controls, which I figured out how to do on my own. It took me a while to figure it out. But what you want to do is you see this, this uh, D pad. You want to put in W, S, A, and D. And you can just kind of put it right there. And now these are little button mapping mapping buttons that you can map uh, different keys to. I have my default keys is 1, 7, K, uh, the semicolon 2, L, and O. I just have those there for, uh, you know, easiness. Um, uh, and now what you want to do is you can, drink, you can drag. You can add more via this button here. And you can also exit. And shooting games only is for uh, shooting games. Uh, you can map. You can uh, you know you can right click to start or stop the control of for if you're playing a shooting game on your phone. Uh, and GPS is for GPS tracking, like say Pokemon Go or Ingress. You can use this for that. Um, and the uh, gravity sensor is for gravity. Of say if you have motion controls or something, some for for a game that has motion controls, you can use this. For that, I don't have this set up because I don't play motion control games. But you can do W, say for instance, W S A D, which could be for motion controls. But I'm not using the motion controls. I'm only using the D-pad, which is this right here. So, and if you want, when you finish setting up the controls, you want to click on Save. You can set the opacity so you can see all your controls, and you can have it to to none I usually like to have it like right around there so I can still see where everything is but it's very hard to see unless you would be noticed it on uh, the scissors is for a screenshot you can take a screenshot of the screen that you're using uh, and this is for a uh, virtual position and like I said before you can use this with Pokemon Go and you can change your uh, location and your position for instance like if you wanted to go somewhere like say I don't know Sydney or something and you could use that with Pokemon Go, for instance, to change the location. But you'd probably both likely get banned. Um, from So if you're going to do that, use an alt account. And then with these two buttons here, you can increase and decrease your volume. And you can also go into full screen mode with this button here. And you can add an APK file if you say if it's not on the Play Store and you have an APK file of a game or an app you can install it onto here via the APK um, and you can also record your screen Oops, there we go see uh, you can record and you can do multi instant knocks which I think you can have multiple things open like you can add different emulators and stuff like that to it you can have, like, say, for instance, a new emulator, and it will, it's unlocking it. And what that'll do is you'll have another emulator open. You can have more than one Knox player, basically, open. You, I could say, start this one. It'll be, like, a fresh, you know, it'll, it'll be a fresh launcher. It opens up another one. But we're not. I'm not gonna do that right now. It's just for the tutorial. So we're gonna we're gonna delete Knox Player One, and we will delete it. And now what you want to do is go into your settings. So because I'm gonna show you how to set up the settings now. Uh, I usually have everything on default, but if you want to go to advanced settings, you can change your performance to high. I have mine on medium. I have my resolution on 1280 720p. So this way it goes well with rendering and stuff. And it's easier that way. And you can also change your frames, uh, your frame, your FPS settings as well. I have it on 60, which is default. Um, you can also have it on, you can have your startup to be on tablet, mobile, and you can have it as a custom. Um, you can also change your uh, RAM or your memory to just kind of try and speed it up if it's lagging for you. Um, right, this is uh, your property settings where you can see all your properties and whatnot, and your shortcuts, which is your hotkey settings like yeah, see home, page down, page up, control plus up. You know, they're hotkeys to access things easier. 
and interface settings is you can change your interface around you can change I, I leave this on default but you can change the landscape you can change the landscape mode you can fix the window size uh, you, uh, you can also uh, remember size and position so it stays that way but I keep it at the way it is um, now this button here is the menu key you can access the menu like if you would on the phone and you can also scroll down to the different games you can browse I mainly browse bootleg games for my series so you know you're gonna see a lot of shit there um, and you can manage your common functions which is system settings um, and you can also pin stuff to the top here I don't know what that really does to be honest but you can pin stuff and this you can open up your system inf system info your fax your message center um, and if you go into actually your huh yeah here it is I'm blind uh, if we want to go into your Wi-Fi settings you can change your Wi-Fi you can change your data usage you can have a VPN installed as well so if you want to use a VPN you can if you want to change your sound, display, storage, battery, or you can view your apps that you previously have installed, uh, that you have installed on your VPN. Your not VPN, your what should we call it? <laughs> Virtual machine, basically, is what this is. Um, so you can also add your Google. Uh, yeah, you can add your Google account, which I have my uh, alternate um, account that I or use for bullshit. Uh, so yeah you can also have super user date and time super user is basically you have uh, a bunch of permissions for shit so that's basically it some things require a super user to be available like say you you know you can also have your printer connected to your phone and if you go to your about tablet it runs on Android 4.4.2 um, so yeah that's that so far I see I my bullshit bullshit account attached to it uh, it's not it's not an important email or anything it's just a random email I made um, yeah so I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial on how to uh, set up the Knox app player if this tutorial has helped you please make sure to leave a like down below and if you need any uh, help in the comments I'll be glad to uh, assist you if you need help with anything or if you're confused about something please let me know down below please subscribe to the channel because I do upload every week and I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and see you guys later